Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Today, we are back on the Bukla suitcase. And I wanted to talk to you about, mostly, this module, again, the 266T. Why do I want to go back on this one in particular? Because, as I've said it a few times, the fact that this new line of modules is Eurac, it makes a lot of audio rate patching possible that was not possible on the original modules. So it's easy to follow what was available as audio on the original, as it is still separated, but only cosmetically, as the, those kind of outputs where the audio outs and all the others were like banana cables for control voltages. So the only audio out of the original 266 were the noise. And all the rest was mostly control voltages. And I mean, it wasn't really possible to directly take an oscillator and patch it into, but now it's possible. So let's actually try everything. I will just for a start. Let's make a simple sequence. The most basic patch possible. Low pass gate on the QMMG one output of one oscillator. I will pull this guy to I want row A to control the pitch of this. Okay, let's go for this. I will uh, use the same pulse to trigger an envelope, which I will send to this. Okay. So now, what if I send this oscillator, the audio out of this oscillator, to different parts of this? So let's start with the fluctuating random voltages. Actually, I haven't tried this. Most of what I'm going to show you, I have tried, but not this. Let's FM the fluctuating random voltages with this audio rate thing. Okay, we can barely hear the audio, but this is something. I would say that this can be fun as a modulator for something. So let's not use it here. Duplicate this, and we are going to send that back to the control of our oscillator. Let's see. Well, it's not crazy, but well, it's something. Feedback it. Back it is fun it's without. Does make it go a bit faster and a bit following the melody a bit more. But anyway, okay. This uh, this was one try. Probably not the best. One that I'm sure can be fun is to patch this. Let's make it a saw wave so it has hard edges, and let's clock that circuit over there. Let's put it to one. And we have some sort of a noisy version of what we had before. Uh, we could actually duplicate this. So we have a second... Let's take the mix out. Okay, so we have our original sound plus... Uh, to make it easier, let's actually... This is our original sound. This is the one going at this output. This output should be different. Tiny bit. 
Let's make this faster. Now you see where I'm going. As this is set to 1, this is only outputting either yes or no. Let's go. Chipped in heaven. So it can make some sort of pitched noise thing related to your input. And if you layer the two, you can get something fun. Let's add some reverb. Make this a bit less hard to listen to. Okay. If we start to augment this, we will have so it's a darker and glitchier sound. This one's the more most aggressive. Actually, with this, if I patch this directly over there. And have this sort of whooshy video game type of sound. Let's actually we have our melody here. We will patch this one, this, and this straight here. Okay, this here. This is this. And now let's cycle this, for example. So it can make some sort of a tuned noise. Let's see. What do we have if we use this input instead? It's basically the same, but it doesn't have that exact same color. And we have this output. It can be controlled a little bit, but it's not that fun at audio rate. This is definitely funnier. Okay, well, well, there's something that I've already shown. I'm sh going to show it again. If you plug an oscillator to the pulse in of the sample and hold here, at any of this output, this basically becomes a flip flop. So you get a one octave down version of this sound. Make a sub oscillator out of it, which can be handy. What else can we do? Let's remove all this. I'm going to set this as a filter to slow this down. I have some sort of an envelope going, a bit of uh, resonance. And I'm going to send this, the, the output of the filter with resonance as the CV input of the sample and hold. And as the pulse in, I'm going to send that square wave of this oscillator. And the result of this should be an extremely downsampled version of what we had before. So we can see that there is, it doesn't go as fast as some other sample and hold well, it just stops at some at some frequency, but we can still have some of this down sampling fun. There's still the envelope there, so it's a voltage controlled beat crusher kind of thing. Sync that up. So we can use this as a sample rate reducer. Let's try with the integrator. Actually, let's patch this directly into it. I'm pretty sure we could use it as a crude low-pass filter. 
Yeah, but it's already extremely filtered from the start. We can filter it down because it's made for control voltages more than audio, so th that makes sense. But let's send an envelope into it. Or any kind of modulation. <laughs> Definitely not meant to do this, but it works. <laughs> That again into this. Let's see what this output has to offer now. Let's take this one instead. filter like this. That's weird. A bit more cheap to need than what I expect from Bukla. Why not? We even have divided version of this from the out output. Well, let's end this with a bit of self cross patching. here. <laughs> this is what I expect from Bukla. Mercy. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But I like what I'm hearing. I'm not sure how and when I would use this, but I've learned a few things while doing this. I hope you too! This was fun! I will make some samples if there is anything that can end up being used. And uh Yeah. This was lovely bit of weird petting. See you next time. Bye bye.